you're looking for an activity that lifts your holiday spirits and is, you know, also free, which lifts my holiday spirits. We got you covered. Adam Longo went to see a Christmas installation at Navy Yard. I'd like to wish you a very Maryland Christmas, but I can't really do that today because I'm in D.C. We're with Jill Fredericks outside of Brookfield Property, the yards outside of this beautiful light installation in the Navy Yard in D.C. Tell me about this display, how this came together and what it's all about. Yeah, so this is our sixth year of doing light yards down at the yards. We do something every year during the month of December to bring people down here. And we've sort of evolved it over the years. We've had a different artist uh, create our display for us every single year and it went from sort of abstract art and this year we've morphed into a true holiday display. So it's your very first time seeing this, this brand new display. Uh, what do you think? It's so beautiful. I mean, the trees are just magnificent and we're so excited to be here. We have the three 22 foot trees down here and they are actually color changing. There's about 10 different modes of color, which is really fun because they're interactive. And then it's set to music too. So there's music playing in the background. It's beautiful, it's really fun. It's a great place for the kids to run around and they seem to be really having a lot of fun and the music, it just feels really festive. Is it getting you in the holiday spirit? Oh, it's absolutely getting us in the holiday spirit. Uh, it's, it makes a great date night and we love being around here. But the artists that put this together is a group called Amigo and Amigo and they're out of Australia. They've got to be um, friends. They have to be friends with a name like that, right. right? What kind of reception are you getting from people in the area, people coming to see this? Well, it just opened last night, and we've already started seeing pictures on social media, which is sort of a gauge for me. So, mm -hmm. like, if people like taking pictures in front of it, they must be enjoying it. Are you guys seeing this whole thing for the first time today? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 What do you think of the light display? You like it? You're with it. It's you can good. Just, you can just take that. I'm good. You take that and um, here, just hold it like that, <laughs> and you got my job. But I'm out. Um, it's really becoming just a go-to sort of holiday destination, this area in the Navy Yard where, I mean, folks can still remember a few years ago, you just didn't come down here at all. Is it the first time you've kind of come down here to soak in the ambiance? Well, we are big fans in the neighborhood. We're both really big Nats fans, and so we love coming down here in the summertime, and it's nice that there is holiday things going on and festivities, so we have an excuse to come down here in the holiday time, too. It's a great deal. It's uh, free. Oh, right. This is, like free? this is very free. You can come every night of the week if you want. That's perfect. It won't well, cost you a dime. Well, thanks for having us out <laughs> and thanks for giving us the tour around. This has been great. Best of luck with the uh, the development moving forward and thanks yeah, for chatting thanks with so us. Thanks so much for coming. This is great. You bet. Very cool. The only thing better than free is very free. Yeah, you bet. Where is it and where do I park? Yeah, so uh, Water Street between 3rd and 4th and Southeast there at the Navy Yard. Parking is a bit of an issue, mm -hmm. okay? You know, if you're looking for the free street parking, you're gonna do concentric circles for about 20, 30 minutes as you expand sort of outwards. But there's a, there's a, a surface lot that's actually not that expensive right there off 4th Street. You just drive 4th Street right to the end before you would actually drive into the water. Mm -hmm. Little surface lot right there you can get into. This is a, a really cool spot. And they also have a pop-up bar just across the street as well at Maxwell Park. They've got sparkling wine, eggnog shooters, and candy cane greenhouses. And then they have cocktails named like You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Nice. It's a cranberry, cranberry Negroni and Reindeer Buzz, which is a cold brew martini. This is also where those trees are, a hot spot for kids because they have something called uh, Noon Yards Eve, where kids will be able to go, family-friendly activities to ring in uh, the 2022 New Year. So from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., so they're going to do something around the noon hour so kids can come out there with families. Very cool. Yeah. So it's great for the kids. you got a nice little pop-up bar. And then also, you get, since it's outdoor and it's free, you can always bring your own Ripple or Cisco or whatever, your Mad Dog 2020, whatever you need. Yeah, you might want to keep that in the car or at home because mm. there were a lot of kids out there. I mean, you oh, saw from enough. the piece, there were a lot of kids out there That's playing. True. You know, one thing that this made me think about, I mean, the, the Navy Yard is now looking to take on Georgetown for sort of like this destination supremacy. Mm -hmm. That might be a whole other story we can get into down the road. 
this was super cool. I really enjoyed Interesting. it down there. Interesting. Yeah. Like the little neighborhood that could. Navy Yard still throwing punches. They're Georgetown, what say you? <laughs> Ball's in your court. Now listen, we found this story from a tip. You can tip us off. That's just some stories that we should cover, things that you don't normally see on an evening newscast. We want to bring it to you. You can find me there on all the social media platforms. We're going to delete TikTok off of that graphic. I I've basically given up. No one's reaching out to me. I'm not putting out content. Giving up on the talk. Get at him, Georgetown!